Hey guys, you're watching the Heroes Premier League and we're bringing you a replay cast of Week 4's game Empire vs. Playing With Pain, uh, which had to be postponed. I'm G-Shock, with me is Ghoul TV, and we'll jump right into the game. So, without further ado, we have Team Blue here on the left side. It's Playing With Pain, and they have Ufer in the top lane here already, played by Luvi. Then we have Tassada, played by Hysterica. Uh, Pain, who's uh, playing Illidan. Then we have Blamour, uh, who's playing uh, Anubarak, and Cyborg X, who is playing Raynor. So uh, let's talk a little bit of, about this rain, um, lineup here. Um, I think Uther, of course, one of the most solid picks. Tacita, also a really strong pick. Um, Anubarak, um, I think, fits quite well uh, with this uh, composition they got going for them. Um, nice lines done. Um, and I think they got a lot of damage output, also complemented with Raynor here. Uh, what's your take on the situation, Ghoul? Yeah, um, I think uh, they got a lot, a lot of stun uh, with Uther and Anubarak. And on the other hand, they have enough uh, follow-up damage to really burst down the enemy team. So really, really solid uh, lineup here from Playing With Pain. Yeah. Uh, do you think they're going to go with uh, the mass stun, mass AoE stun for Uther? Uh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. I think uh, the only time when you want to go for a uh, Divine Shield is, for example, when you have a Kerrigan. Mm -hmm. no, because normally she's number one target for the other team and uh, she's so squishy, so it's a good pick to go um, Divine Shield when you play with Kerrigan. Alright, let's have a look at uh, Team Red here, spawned on the right side of on Garden of Terror. Uh, they're of course Empire, and they have Asphil, who's playing Asmodon. Uh, we have Tima Fooli on the Tychus, and Arthas is played by Duke. Then we have uh, Rhaegar, played by Noodles, and Asphil again, for some reason, <laughs> is playing Zagara. Uh, what do you think about this lineup? Um, it's a quite interesting lineup because they have uh, two specialists. They have uh, Zagara and Asmodan. Mm -hmm. Normally you don't see this kind of strategy going on because um, you're so squishy with both, uh, normally with uh, specialists in general, but um, they have Asmodan and he can be really tanky, so I think uh, they should be fine. Yeah, and of course, uh, Rhaegar and Tychus for the Bloodlust combo. Um, Arthas helps to uh, soak up some damage. Uh, so I, li I like this composition, but uh, we'll have to say we have to see how sustainable they are. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not uh, the kind of standard composition you see in every game nowadays. All right, let's get started with the game. Uh, three, two, one, go! All right. Uh, let's see the lane composition. It looks like we have four players here for playing with pain on the middle lane. Rainer sits a little bit back. Let's see where they're going. And uh, Empire still undecided. Looks like we have a little bit of a grouping up here of Asmodan and Arthas. And Zagara and Rhaegar. And Tigers is going to take uh, the solo top. Okay, so uh, Rainer moved bottom now for uh, PvP. Alright, that makes sense. I mean, uh, he can he can hold his own on any lane. Um, also, Uther can take uh, take on quite a few people on his own as well, yeah. and just survive for as long as possible. Yeah. It looks oh. like uh, they are going for an, a Nubarak and Illidan um, Bruiser game, or yeah, they just want to gank everywhere. Yeah, with a Nubarak waiting here in the middle already. Uh, looks like Tassila is scouting the bottom and uh, maybe Nubarak gets a good stun in. But he just moved back. I think they're going to take uh, the easy camp over here. And um, yeah, Uther just chilling back in the top lane. And of course you have the minions here uh, by Asma then that just yeah bolts to the lines of, of the top lane. Yeah, he, he's really strong in pushing the lane like this and he even has Tychus with him. So Arthur, uh, yeah, uh, Uther a... will have a... Hard time here. Yeah, this is a really strong top lane. I gotta agree. Um, I mean, Asmodan can just solo at uh, solo lanes and push, and uh, with this combination, it's, it's especially strong. Yeah, but on the other hand, uh, PPP is going to get the easy cam very soon now, so they should be able to at least get some pressure down against Asmodan and Tychus here at the top lane. Mm. 
Ether might be a little bit of trouble here. He saw Tiger, so he's all good. Uh, ooh, nice, nice tag there. And from the bottom, we have uh, ooh, a Nova Rock coming in, uh, getting a stun off on Tigers. Can he get away? It looks like it. Uh, Illidan wants to give a chase, but it didn't work out in the end here. Yeah, and they, now it's night time, and the mobs appear. They would have needed more stun in this engage, but uh, yeah, they didn't hit everything perfectly, so uh, Tigers had the chance of getting it away. Yeah, and now it's two versus two in the top lane. Um, Rainer, meanwhile, holding his own in the bottom lane. And yeah, it looks like uh, Asmodon also bolstering these lines here with his minions. Yeah, um, on the other hand, on the bottom we have uh, Noodles actually taking the easy camp on his own. And as well um, as Fell and Duke going for the seeds. Yeah, uh, looks like Empire really wants to go for these seeds early on. Um, what well, kind of, yeah holding back on the lanes in the meantime. So they're missing a little bit of XP here, but maybe for uh, the gain of uh, getting the faster planet, uh, planet Terror. Yeah, uh, definitely an okay choice, but uh, they definitely have to get in some more seats because actually at the moment uh, PPP is ahead in the seat count. Yeah, and uh, they're grabbing the easy camp now as well. Looks like uh, Team Red wants to push the bottom lane. Zagara is doing a really good job uh, just creeping everything through here and now they have the, the easy camp also bolstering this attack. Yeah, PPP even going for the hard now, but um, so they will have an easy time defending bottom. Yeah, it looks like uh, Nubarak can take this um, alongside Kane. Uh, they shouldn't have too much trouble here. Zagara in the meantime just pushing and pushing these, this bottom four here. Um, looks like the uh, the easy camp will die here, though the easy easy mobs. Yeah, Noodles going for the next uh, easy camp to uh, be able to just uh, keep on pushing mid because yeah, without an easy camp you can't really push that good. Let's see when we we'll get to see the uh, first team engagements here. Um, I mean, it looks like they just want to grab uh, grab plant seeds and uh, take mobs for now, uh, take the camps for now. But we might see a first engagement here pretty soon. Uh, looks like Team Blue is trying to gather up, and Tigers might be in a little bit of trouble here. Nubarak is waiting in the brushes. Uh, I think they're just waiting for their time to strike, and now is the time. Tigers is trapped there in the le left side, and uh, Illidan moves in. Looks like he can get the kill, and Rhaegar, ooh, he's pretty close there as well. Yeah, but he got away, uh, no problem. They didn't have enough stun. But uh, yeah, really nice kill on Tigers here. He was uh, way out of position, shouldn't have moved that far away. Yeah, he dove way too deep into those towers. Uh, almost got behind the wall there as well. So, um, yeah, I don't think he's gonna make that same mistake again. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, Team PvP now with uh, three heroes in the middle. Ah, never mind, they're gonna move top again and maybe get an ambush and kill Asmodan right there. Uh, I think they saw what's coming for them. <laughs> <laughs> Moving out of the lanes. Oh, Tychus. They want to go. They want to go for the plant terror, but we still have Zero to Anubarak and Tessa down here. Oh, they might get squished. Uh, looks like they saw the trap coming though. Yeah, and, way uh, too moving aggressive. close to the towers, getting into safety range here. And now they're together as one team here. Empire moving towards the bottom lane. Uh, looks like they want to grab this plant terror uh, right here, and they should because they're they're down 30 seats, and uh, this might actually help out a lot. Yeah, sure, but on the other hand, we have PPP all, almost being level 10 now, so Empire has to be really careful going for Alright, I think they're level 10. Uh, let's pause for a second and have a look at the at the skills. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's show which talents they picked. Oh, we should probably wait a couple more seconds. They didn't really pick yet. Um, we'll just let it go for a while okay. and uh, then pause again at uh, 6.30. So yeah, we have uh, Empire now trying to defend their own hard, hard camp, but uh, it doesn't look like they will be fast enough. Yeah, Asmodon's idea was uh, pretty good, uh, just pushing the AoE in there, but uh, they were a little bit too late uh, to stop the hard camp. Uh, but it looks like since everyone knew what was going on, they can stop the prison pretty easily now. And uh, oh, hey, 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 might be going in here. They already took the towers out. And Anubarak looks like he's ready for the next stun. Uh, 
uh, just waiting for a good line shot. Arthur's moves in really deep here, but a good stun down on Uther. Yeah, well done. Oh, amazing line stun, did you see that? Ooh, yeah, he took out really three nice. heroes, Arthur's goes down, uh, Rega might be the next one to fall, tries to get the body block down, no, just chasing him off there, and Tychus can run away, but the fort is for sure gonna fall with that first fort down here for Empire. And um, almost two levels behind. Yeah, really well done. Uh, pretty good engage here by PPP. By uh, using the mercs uh, very effectively here to be able to push that far. Yeah, just a formidable stun uh, by Blamur. Uh, just getting three heroes and completely taking them out of the fight. And I mean, that was the beginning. Once you take Arthas out, it just, like, the whole group just goes down so quickly with the two specialists. Uh, they really don't stand a chance in that composition. Yeah, and uh, now we have uh, Zagara being a little bit out of position, uh, but she's already moving back now, so um, yeah, she, she sh should be fine. Yeah, I think they saw that the easy camp is being taken here. Oh, getting the first initial engage out. Ooh, nice, nice take out on the CC here, uh, grabbing both Tassida and um, Ufa. Uh, Ufa, yeah. Really well done. Rega's going to fall. Oh, what an amazing engagement there, the body block on Zagara. That's how you turn it around. PPP just on fire. Yeah, brilliant engages here from them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal uh, how they're um, achieving those great wins in uh, every battle. It's not that easy, um, but they're just having a really good positioning. Yeah, and now we have a really strong potion coming. We have the plant Terra. Um, they have the easy camp in the middle lane, so they can double push. It looks like the gate on the middle lane is, look, is gonna fall here pretty soon. So they can just easily push bot lane. Um, cooldowns are over though, so they need to watch out. It looks like uh, Empire is gonna move down to the bottom lane. Uh, but the towers are gonna fall here pretty soon. Yeah. Um, Empire is gonna have a really hard time defending here, especially against the plant. And of course, they are three levels down at the moment. Yeah, um, wait a sec, maybe we should pause right here and have a look at the talents. Okay. Okay, so they picked Divine Storm on Uther, uh, Archon on Tassada, they have Metaf Metamorphosis on Illidan, they have Locust Swarm on Anubarak, uh, Rainer's Raiders on Rainer, then Ancestral Healing uh, on Empire's side uh, for Riga. Devouring Maw, of course, for Sagara. We already saw that in action. Uh, the Laser Drill for Tychus. Army of the Dead for Arthas. And Daimonic Invasion for Asmodin. Um, yeah, I'd say uh, the most interesting pick here is, of course, the Dragon Laser Drill here from Tychus. Normally, you see Odin. Um, but he has decided uh, he wants a lot more damage. Um, Probably for the Bloodlust combo. Um, but then you got to time it really, really well. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I don't see the point really. Yeah, I don't either because um, actually the bloodlust as yeah they don't have bloodlust, so they don't really need Odin, and um, they got enough heal with the ancestral healing to keep Tychus, for example, alive. But of course, um, Rega has to heal the others uh, very much as well because Zagara and Asmodan aren't that tanky. Especially Zigara. Alright, let's get on with the game. Uh, I'm at 9, 10. Um, yeah, wait a second. 7, 8, 9, 10, and go. Alright. I want to see that laser drill in action now. But uh, not for now. Planetary wants to get a move on here. And yep, they got Arthur's. Uh, next one to fall will be Rhaegar. Can he get away? Oh, maybe. Nice oh. stun though by a new Barak. And uh, now the. Yeah, I think with that fort down, they can just bash down on the wall here. Uh, Plantero will be alive for a couple more seconds, I guess. Uh, oh, since they really can't really push back right now. Really, really good more here by Asper. Yeah, four heroes. That's incredible. Yeah, but the, the problem is he doesn't have any follow-up damage, so it doesn't really have that much. Yeah, they couldn't really get in range for follow-up damage. I mean, with two heroes down, of course, uh, would be hard anyways, but... Yeah, that, that was an excellent push here by playing with Pain. Um, just knowing when to turn around, uh, when their time has passed, and just playing it really, really safe. 
Yeah, and as you see, um, Empire doesn't have a single kill uh, so oh, far. Oh, they'll oh. get Sagara as well. Yeah. Just way too surprising for them. That's not a good position for them though. Looks like everyone can do damage here, uh, except for yeah. No, not really. And Tassada can even defend it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, pretty much of a stomp right now, but uh, maybe Empire can get back with, uh, for example, um, the next uh, Garden Terror for them, of course, because Knight is falling and they'll be able to get some seeds, probably. Yep, PvP is going for the hard camp on Bard, and uh, looks like Empire just tries to consolidate here, just stopping the easy camp uh, next to the middle fort. Only, uh, only advanced fort that's still standing, and now they're going for the top plant terror. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, they are. Uh, they shouldn't split up too much. Arthas is a little bit out of position. Oh here. yeah, uh, Arthas completely out of position, and it looks like they can gun him down here pretty quickly. No, he gets away for now. There comes the heal from Rhaegar. He will stay alive for a little bit longer. There's a deep dive from the Nubarak, getting behind the lines, trying to focus on Tychus, but there comes the ancestral healing, and uh, he's healed back up. Nice move here by Zagara, getting three heroes again in the maw. And, ah uh, yeah, PvP is just going for the hard camp instead. They're not really trying to follow everything here. Yeah. And the laser being completely useless over there. Um, yeah, well, now he does some damage, but it uh, <laughs> doesn't really yeah, matter that much. Minimal damage. I mean, with, without the combo, it doesn't really work that way. Yeah. And ah, But now we have the Garden Terror being ready for Empire, and Asphalt is taking it. He's moving top uh, with already uh, using sprint, so they want to defend uh, the bo both the camps pushing over there pretty quickly. Yeah, but the middle camp is gonna fall, yeah, without any any resistance here. Oh, there comes the deep dive on a noob. Uh, looks like he can't get a stun off. Yeah. And the planetary comes back just in time to defend this here. Yeah, good escape by Amparo, definitely. Yeah, PPP is on the retreat. Uh, yeah. Kind of defensive retreat though with the storms. I like that. Yeah, always doing damage by uh, while going back. Oh, Rega was a little bit over eager there. He'll get taken out. Yeah, that shouldn't happen if you want to push. You need all five. Oh, so. Arthur's getting a little bit of a stun up. Oh, and there's the stun from Uther on Tychus. He won't get away uh, with the finishing blow here yeah. by Illidan. Yeah, Illidan is just so good chasing here, and we'll maybe see it even on the plant now. Ah, oh, no doesn't go in. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> but with Uther, um, I think he doesn't have any cooldown, so uh, they should be able to make a move here on the bottom yeah. lane. But it looks like they want to retreat for now, maybe grab the plant terror, uh, grab a couple more seeds, and then just try to finish it off once their uh, plant terror is up. Yeah, so you're so much uh, better when by pushing um, with a plant. Um, of course, so I mean, yeah. taking out the towers and everything, yeah. um, and then you can just play it safe. You just have to worry about uh, the opposing team catching up once you're 20. Yeah, because then it kind of all evens out again. And as well, you have someone who can really tank everything, um, especially in the end, the core, of course. Now, and you can um, see how defensive Empire plays everything now. Because they know, okay, we can't really move out. We have to take everything that's close to us. So they're going for the easy camp right now. And they have to stay back because they can't really roam the map. It's way too dangerous right now. They have just have to defend, have to keep up. Because they know once they leave their base for even a second, um, the Nexus could be sniped at any moment. Yeah. And now they're gathering up in the middle and... Uh, as well, trying to do some damage. Yeah, I think but with the plant terror, they can just focus everything down oh so quickly. First tower is gonna fall in just a second here. Gate falls, and with that, everything's open. And Nubarak yeah, can probably storm in there pretty soon. Uh, get another stun off. Now See we have Asmodan with a nice defense. Uh, we have the laser by Tychus, but. Uh, oh, really good more here from Zagara, but now. Oh, but Arthas oh, might fall. There's, there's the ancestral healing, keeping him alive for a little bit longer. And they need Arthas, they need Arthas in every engagement. Uh, they need him to grab up, uh, grab up some, uh, some damage. And looks like this time he can't really serve himself. Uh, but Arthas sits away once more, and the plan is down, so they have to retreat for the moment, because, yeah, still. Uh, all five heroes of Empire are alive. Yeah, stellar defense here by Empire, I gotta say. I mean, this looked pretty grim for them. 
But um, they held their ground, and um, looks like uh, PPP will have to go for another engagement with the easy mobs this time around. Yeah, they had the easy camp before, but it didn't do that much damage overall. But uh, of course, they got the fort now, and uh, maybe they just want to wait for level 20 now for the next engage and grab some mercs meanwhile. Oh, you can see how uh, how Asmodee works here. I mean, uh, with his buffs to minions. The, uh, the easy mobs on the bottom lane just clear out the entire camp, the entire fort. Yeah. So that's what happens if you don't deal with the mobs uh, if they're being boosted. Yeah, really nicely done here by Asmodan. And, and now Rega is a little bit out of position, but uh, PPP not seeing him, so you will get away easily. Yeah, it looks like they want to go for the respawn on the hard camp. Uh, that's actually one of the ways to get back here. Just catch a break with the camps, get a camp completely undefended, and um, then just make a move from there. Uh, try to uh, keep the opponent, opposing team just occupied with with mobs on the lane. Um, maybe grab a single hero that's trying to defend. Yeah, now we have PPP pushing with the hard camp bottom, and maybe they even get level 20 until the next team fight starts. Uh, Empire's out of position. I think they saw what's coming for them. Uh, but there's gonna be a focus on the fort just oh so quickly. Tychus is there to defend, but he's the only one for now. Uh, looks like Asmodon is coming in. Nice AoE damage there, but the fort is gonna fall in second. And there the hard comp mobs are coming in. So they can retreat for now and then uh, just uh, focus back up. And yeah, but they are already level 20 now, so um, they definitely want to get in another fight. But yeah, they just t uh, take um, all of the top seeds before, so they get in another plant terror, and yeah, they'll be able to push to the core easily, as it looks like. Um, we've got Divine Hurricane, um, then we have Twilight Archon on Tassada, Demonic Form on Illidan, Hive Master on the Nubu Rock, and Fury of the Storm on Raymond. Yeah, so everybody just upgraded his, ult uh, his heroic, um, except for Raynor. And I think it's a good choice uh, for Reyna to just um, go for Fury of the Storm because you're able to do a lot more damage with this uh, talent. What do you think uh, Empire could do here to, to make a comeback happen? Okay, uh, I think they're doing the exact right now. Um, just taking seats, trying to get a plant terror to maybe able uh, to defend the now already spawned plant terror from PvP. I don't think they have another good chance to actually win this. Yeah, this, this might have been their only chance. Uh, plant terror will, will be coming here along the bottom lane and the easy pops are, are being stopped already. I mean, uh, they have to get back ASAP and get in a really, really good position in their main, ca main camp and to be able to stop this even. Oh, oh as did that from a noob. Uh, looks like we want to focus down uh, Asmodan, and there comes the stun. Asmodan is totally singled out here. Looks like he can take him out pretty easily. There's the body block, and he's being transformed into a plant, so taken out oh so quickly. Yeah, perfect executed uh, second stun here from him. Yeah, and that, they're just gonna focus on the Nexus, I think. Yeah, um, we have the laser going down here for Tychus, but... Uh, yeah, it really just tickles them. There's the Divine Storm getting uh, oh, getting Arthas there. And Tychus is going to be the next one to fall. Yep, Plant Terror is taking him out. Asmodan will fall as well. And uh, this should be GG. PPP is going to take the first map here. Wow. Uh, it really looked like a stomp. Um, uh, it really looked like a stomp in between. And, I mean, Empire didn't really... Um, I don't know. It seemed like they didn't really have any any solid idea how to stop it. Yeah, um, I think they uh, have to play this composition differently. But it's really hard against uh, such a stun and damage intensive um, comp like PPP had. I feel I feel like the um, the composition really only works if you uh, if you play extremely safe and have good map vision. Um, Maybe if they would have picked, uh, if they uh, would have picked someone with uh, like Tassadov with clairvoyance, where you can just check everything, and um, I think that would work a little better because you could play it sa a little more safely. Um, but I don't know, uh, not entirely sure. 
All right, uh, let's jump into the next game yep. on uh, Blackhawks Bay. And here we have them again on the left side, again Team Blue playing with pain. And uh, they have Rhaegar this time around. They also have Tassadar. They have uh, Illidan again. And Raynor again. And Anubarak again. Mm -hmm. So uh, pretty much uh, the same except for uh, Rhaegar. Rhaegar. Yeah, so really, really strong composition, I feel like. Um, they got the damage output uh, with Tychus. Um, Oh, actually, Tychus uh, is another change. They had Raynor before. Yeah. Um, I think they even have the better composition now because uh, you have Bloodlust and Tychus and Tassadar and you even have Illidan. Yeah. So extremely strong composition. Yeah, really here. strong. Uh, let's have a look at our opposing team. On the right side here on Blackheart's Bay, Team Red, Team Empire, they're down 1-0. Uh, they have to make a comeback happen. Let's have a look at their composition. On the top lane we have Asphil as uh, Asmodem, then we have uh, Team of Oli as uh, Sergeant Hammer, Duke as Arthas, and Malfurion is played by Noodles, and Asphil, well, again <laughs> on Zagara. <laughs> Zagara. So um, uh, similar pickups except for Malfurion and Sergeant Hammer. Yeah. And I feel like this is an even weirder composition than last time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I, I'm really surprised by the Sergeant Hammer pick because um, even the two specialist combo didn't work out last game and now they think, oh, uh, so the problem was we had too few specialists. Let's just go Sergeant Hammer. <laughs> Yeah, I think I feel like uh, with this combination, it's it's kind of hard to even stay alive in the early game, because oh, like once you uh, have a couple of like for example, uh, Illidan, he can just stomp on on Sergeant Hammer, and really everyone in this composition, uh, except maybe Arthas, and it would just be way too surprising for them. So I I feel like once they're uh, well, well, once they uh, Leave their uh, their team uh, their team makeup. Once they um, distribute in the lanes, it's gonna be really hard for them to stay alive. Yeah. All right, let's get this game going. Uh, Are you on normal speed? I'm on normal speed. Oh. I'm at ten seconds. Okay. One so second. three, two, one, go. All right. Uh, looks like PPP is all going in the middle lane. Probably going for the tower. And we have a nice little distribution here for Empire, Arthas, Sergeant Hammer, and Malfurion in the middle lane. Asmodee on top, and Zagara on bottom. Well, if they if they keep it up like that, I think it could work. I think they're at least going to survive the early game. Because uh, with the middle lane, um, yeah, I think they can they can stay alive really well. With Malfurion and um, Sergeant Hammer just staying in the back, Arthas soaking up some damage. Zagara and Asmodon, of course, are really good. Um, just soloing lanes. Ooh, Malfurion. Yeah, but they have no chance. There. No chance to get this tower right there. No, none, none whatsoever. And the problem is, on, on Blackheart's Bay, you have to be really, really mobile to get all the coins. And I feel like that's that's a big problem in their composition. Yeah. Oh, nice lines down there, getting all the minions. Yeah, they just quickly want to um, kill the minions to be able to just focus on the chest, which is spawning soon. Yeah, and another nice stun here, getting the minions again. Yeah, we have uh, 50 seconds uh, now, actually. And it looks like... Oh, well, they might actually uh, be able to get it. Empire, you yeah, already uh, getting the first coin and they're going oh, in. But Arthas... Oh. Yeah, Asmodan well, really helped out a lot there. Well, they got two coins at least. Uh, but, uh, wow, in the bottom uh, they got all of the five coins because they split up um, uh, three and two on the lanes, so they even have more coins now uh, than PPP has. Can they turn them in though? I mean, they uh, really need to move their entire team down for, for turning everything in, except if PPP doesn't watch out. Yeah. Uh, but we have already Zagara, um, she paid in, so... Yep, four coins already in the bank. And uh, Zagara can hold her own against Tychus here. Um, already got some decent creep spread going, uh, even a little bit towards the bottom here, uh, through this uh, through the fog. 
And that's always important to have the vision in the fog, um, not to be surprised here or anything. And we have uh, both easy, easy camps now being prepped, all pain, uh, PPP is already done. And uh, yeah, even the doubloon camp being prepped now by Sergeant Hammer, so they really want to turn in fast now. And yeah, let's see if they have the vision to, to see when, when that turn is gonna happen. Looks like they're already getting in position to start the turn in. Uh, Arthas, is, uh, Arthas is moving in to turn his own coins in. And they might get a drop on Asmodin here. Yeah, on, on, on Uberak here. Okay, uh, so PvP just uh, tried to attack the hard cam at the bottom, but it didn't really work out. And now we have a big focus going on, uh, down to Noodles, but he quickly moves back and maybe. Oh, yeah, this is trapped. Out. Nice body block there. Anoop doing a good job with that. He's just so huge, he can, st he can stop anyone from passing by. But uh, yeah, I love the vision that uh, Asphil is giving here with Zagawa. Um, just having the creeps everywhere, uh, creep tumors everywhere. Um, just seeing, okay, when they're gonna move down. And once they do, um, they'll just have a surprise attack waiting for them. Oh, but now we have Sergeant Hammer being totally out of position. Uh, but quick heal and his mount ability keeps him alive. Yeah, they're putting up some decent counter pressure here on, on the bottom lane. Uh, totally missing any XP on the top though. Uh, Asmodin is trying to stop stop everyone in the middle there, um, fighting with Tassida. And now he's alternating, rotating towards the top lane. Uh, wants to stop Rhaegar there. But uh, Rhaegar is some, uh, doing some decent pushing on the top lane. Uh, we already see uh, the experience difference now. Um, PvP is already uh, one level ahead. And yeah, maybe uh, Empire should just think of maybe put someone in middle or top to help out Asmodee in there. Oh, really nice disengage here from Empire. Um, pretty nice job as well by um, Sergeant Hammer there, pushing a noob away. Yeah, I feel like uh, Zagara should probably go to top. Um, just to help out Asmodan, because he's always rotating between top and middle, and uh, they're really missing that XP. Uh, it's already a level, level up, and she doesn't really do that much down here. Yeah. Um, neither of the both teams now are getting the hard cam. It's just too risky, but of course both of them want to. Um, by the way, uh, PPP doesn't uh, have paid uh, at all. Yeah, no so doubloons start in yet. Or PPP. Uh, that's kind of surprising. I mean, probably because they were so under so much pressure here uh, on the bottom lane. Yeah, but might be. Empire is uh, turning towards the hard camp now in the top lane. Probably a really surprising move right now, but they're gonna miss the, the gold in, instead. Uh, that's that's really bad, and Anoop grabbing a lot of po coins here, already up to seven coins now, and they're gonna turn in. Oh. Um, they'll get, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll at least take out one fourth of that. And at the top chest we saw Luvi just picking up four of the five coins. Uh, really nicely done here, preventing Asmodan from the getting them. Yeah, that, that was a really bad timing here for Empire to grab the hard camp. I mean, the idea was great, um, going for the hard camp in that position, because uh, it, it was kind of surprising. They were just in the bottom lane, then moving towards the top, just applying some counter pressure to stop Rhaegar in the top lane. But um, yeah, the timing was just abysmal. Um, they lost almost all coins, I think, <laughs> except for one. Yeah, so, and now, uh, oh, they even get the hard camp. Whoa, and Zigara is going down over there. Really nicely done, oh, and now we have... is in trouble as well. Yeah. Arthas tries to stop everyone, but he can't take the beating. Uh, Malfurion goes down, and <laughs> even another stun here on Sergeant Hammer. Yeah, and we have uh, PvP now already hitting level 10, so they will uh, have a pretty easy time pushing over there. Uh, good stun here on Tychus and uh, Illidan, but oh, the bottom fort is going to fall so quickly. Uh, Odin is now uh, in engagement as well. <laughs> He's going to take out the, this gate here, and uh, with that, I think they have an easy time to get down here. Yeah, but meanwhile, uh, we have uh, top pushing uh, with, with Asmodan and a lot of minions, so it, um, it's going to be not that easy for them to defend this with only Rhaegar being up there. But they will get the bottom fort as it looks yeah, they, like. They can just put on the pressure again and again. Uh, Tychus just mows everything down. Looks like they have to retreat for now with the creep wave um, moving in. 
but they're just gonna retreat a little bit, wait for their own creeps, and then move back in, uh, maybe with the easy mobs. Yeah, and level 10 is going to hit very soon now for Empire, so don't they don't have to be scared that much anymore, um, and maybe even go for engage themselves. I'm kind of surprised how well the composition works. I mean, this actually works better than their last composition, at least for now. Um, but we have to see once once these team fights really get going, uh, how well it works out then. Yeah, um, with PvP and uh, Empire having the easy camp on bottom, um, it's kind of a tricky position because Empire is lacking Asmodan in this fight here, so they won't have an easy time defending here, definitely. Oh, and really oh, nice engage. Nice move here by Nuburak. And there comes the Maw. I don't think he got all too many players though. And oh man, but that was an amazing move here by Anub. In getting um, a Furion in that engagement. And Rhaegar is gonna fall now on uh, PPP's side. Oh, and they got the kill on Sergeant Hammer. He was already behind the gate there. Yeah. That's <laughs> um, Tyg is just too good. He can shoot through the gate. Um, yeah, nicely. Yeah, this gives them the time to, to turn in their doubloons. Uh, looks like they actually have enough to get the next uh, barrage going on on the top for it. So that is pretty bad right now for our Team Empire. Uh, they're probably going to lose top for it. Uh, meanwhile, Asmodan still hasn't finished, uh, quite finished this for, yeah. uh, for, uh, for Team PPP. It's only a matter of time until it falls, so... Yeah, just yeah. a couple more minion hits. Yeah, middle fort forts and top fort should at least take some decent damage. Yeah, um, and it looks like maybe PvP is going for the hard cam. Uh, not for the hard cam. They already did it, but um, yeah, I think the they're boss. gonna grab the boss, yeah. and that's a perfect timing because right now uh, Empire is completely out of position. Asmodan is the only one in top lane. He sees it, so they they do have to watch out. But uh, I mean, that's what you have Tassel up for. That's what you use clairvoyance for. Um, and they keep Rhaegar in the bushes there or in, in the fog to see, okay, when when it's coming. And I like their, their timing here. Grabbing the hard camp just to uh, have that extra little bit of defense on the top. Yeah, really nicely done. And uh, Empire had no chance uh, to really stop them because they were way too spread out. And yeah, Zagara just took the turn and paid in five coins. And what a strong push this is. With hard mobs, with the boss, they can just take out this fort oh so quickly. And uh, Arthas is just in the fray there, there's the Bloodlust, but Maw is coming in again and grabbing Luby and Pain. Nice work here. Rhaegar is killed though, um, but that was a really, really good job. Can Arthas take the beating? No, it doesn't look like it. He's gonna fall. And now the entire Team Empire is on the retreat. Uh, Zagara tries to split off there. It looks like it works, but uh, uh, not against losing Sergeant Eleven. Hammer. Wow, uh, yeah, really nice chase here by Illidan, finishing off Melforin and then in the end as well. Yeah, that's really Zagara. the strong suit uh, of Illidan, just chasing down heroes, I and mean, it works really well, especially with Zagara if she's off creep. Um, he can take out uh, really quickly, and uh, looks like they can take out this top fort as well. Asmund is the only one left alive here, and I don't think he can make uh, a strong pushback happen. Yeah, extremely strong engage there from them. And it looks like Empire is just going to go for the hard camp now. Uh, yeah, they don't want to risk anything. Um, just try to play it safe, grab a couple more coins. Um, the chests have spawned top and bottom, of course, so they could grab a lot more coins. And uh, with that, they can get the next barrage going already if they want to. Maybe grabbing the easy camp beforehand and hard camp in bottom lane. Oh, that's going to be a little bit of a little draw here on the, on the bottom chest. Yeah, really good here for me. Uh, he got away because he has 12 or oh, now 13 coins. You really don't want to lose them. Um, check the talents for uh, for Empire. They picked Twilight Dream, uh, Blackpool, Devouring Maw, Army of the Dead, and Napalm Strike. And looks like they can turn in. <laughs> Not quite enough points though. Okay, so they took the easy camp now. Um, have something pushing while you're trying to fight is always a good thing. Oh, 15 coins there on Illidan. 
and there's the next engagement, trying to focus down the nuke uh, with a oh. yeah, brilliant with ball. The back. And Payne yeah. almost came down. Uh, and Payne just barely retreating over there. We have oh, uh, that, that's really, really dangerous retreat path for Payne. Uh, Asmodee will go, will fall though. Nice stun there. And uh, maybe they get Sergeant Hammer as well now. Good move there by uh, Anubarak. Ah, uh, yeah. Sergeant Hammer won't get away anytime soon. So yeah, he's just in the wrong way, wrong direction, friend. <laughs> So he's gonna go down as well. Three out of five heroes down. Uh, and with the easy mobs going, uh, maybe they're gonna grab the hard mobs as well and just push down the bottom lane. Uh, yeah. uh, looks like they're just gonna pressure down the gates for now. Yeah, and they have the bombardment going on now as well. So they have a really strong push and maybe, uh, yeah, they can damage the mid forward pretty hard with this bombardment. Empire tries to take down the hard mobs uh, in top to uh, stop the engagement here for PvP. Yeah, and PvP is just uh, being very defensive over here. Uh, I think they shouldn't really be that defensive because uh, they were only against uh, three other heroes since uh, Sergeant Hill was down and uh, Zagaro was uh, creeping the hard camp. Well, they're two levels up. Um, they're just gonna continue to put on pressure with the mobs and uh, I think maybe even tr well, try to trick Empire to turn in because they have a couple of coins going for them and um, then just take a really good team engagement and finish the game off. Yeah. Um, even going for the hard camp now they just really uh, want to play it so safe. They are already ahead and they just want to keep that advantage. Yeah, they're staying two levels ahead. Works really well for them for now. Um, kind of uh, not stopping the, the minions now, and that came back to hurt them. Uh, the tower in the top lane will fall, uh, actually did fall. Uh, yeah. Will we see a next engagement here uh, at the Dubloon station? Maybe, maybe, but they could just pay in as well. So. Yeah, we, we see the same problem as last game for Empire. They have to stay back, they can't really get out. Um, they actually caught a little bit of a break here um, when they got the hard camp, but now they're in the same position as again uh, as again last time, where they couldn't really go out to do any map object objectives. And um, you know, now they're just waiting for the, for the camps to respawn, and um, well, maybe turn in a couple doubloons once, once they get to. Duke actually has eight, so... Um, they're really scared to turn in. Um, if we have a look at their map vision, Zagara is the only one next to next to the balloons, and they actually have decent map vision. They see that uh, almost the entire team PvP is on top, but they're not too sure of themselves. Yeah, they even have to defend the golem now. Sadly, they're not taking care of this one. Uh, easily handling, taking down, uh, taking on the chest and bomb. Five, co five coins for free, and yeah. now they have to return to uh, stop the golem. Oh, and it looks like they are out of position once more because they don't have uh, Sergeant Hammer with them. But maybe they will be able to escape. But a new moving in there, really nicely done. Great stun. Oh, but really good more there from us. Oh, that was an incredible more. Really striking, striking point there. And uh, this allows the entire team to move back. Wow, really good job by Asphalt. Yeah, it looks like um, PvP is going to be able to just pay in again. Um, yeah, and this, Empire this won't really have a saved chance. their ass. I mean, if if they would have lost uh, this this team fight or at least lost one or two heroes here, uh, this might have been it already. Yeah. But um, that was an incredible maw, stopping three heroes and stopping the advance of PvP really. Yeah, um, it looks like the uh, mid fort is going to fall now. Already being hit uh, pretty hard. Yeah, PvP just grabbing the easy camp now. Um, uh, not quite time for hard camp yet. They could grab the enemy hard camp, uh, but uh, Empire is already getting position up there, so I think they're gonna try to do uh, to stop that. Yeah, perfect timing as well for PvP if they get level 20 now. Um They'll just be able to easily engage over there and steal the hard camp. 
Oh, PPP is moving in. Not a good position though. If uh, if Empire makes a turnaround and tries to constrict them here in this little encampment. Yeah, but uh, they but really it looks have like they didn't grab that chance. They really have to kill uh, some mercs, but well, <laughs> Sergeant Hammer works as well. Totally out of position there. Oh, jeez, what did she do? Uh, trying to get in the safety of the minions, but that's uh, only yeah, really short-lived safety there. And Illidan moves in, and he just takes her out oh, so quickly. Asmodan also out of position. Um, maybe they're just trying to make something happen, like however it works. And yeah, turning in a couple of the boons might help, but I mean. Look at this. Team PPP is gonna take the hard camp, take the enemy hard camp, that is, and with that, they can probably finish uh, finish Empire off. Yeah. Don't think they even have a chance defending there, even with the core in their back. I don't think they have enough damage here, especially yeah. they lack only one fort remaining. Um, so and they really strong minions for uh, for PPP, and with the hard camp, and uh, maybe even easy camp. No. They're gonna grab the bottom hard camp as well. Jesus Christ. Such a strong push. Uh, it looks so much like a stomp, even though um, this time um, Empire has two kills. The last game they didn't even get one. So. Yeah, but they only have one port left, which is going to be destroyed very soon now. And they are even a little bit out of position. They should instantly move bottom. After yeah, they saw they the hard camping crest. Somehow stop this onslaught that's gonna happen to them. <laughs> they just pushed on every single skill they have. And um, yeah, PPP just waiting for the hard mobs to get in there, uh, soak up some damage. And once they're here, I think they can just barrel down on Empire. Wow, they, they are playing it so safe, it looks like. <laughs> they even waited for the easy camp again. Yeah. This might actually not be the best idea, you know, because yeah. uh, these are the times where if if they make a single mistake in this engagement and um, somehow uh, Empire stays alive, well, they're already back. I mean, uh, they could catch up in levels and then, uh, yeah, you kind of uh, bite yourself in the ass if you, uh, if you just stay back too long, um. especially waiting for just easy mobs. Yeah, um, it's like Empire only needs two good team fights and they could already win the game. Uh, one won't be enough as it looks like because they don't have a tier 2 fort slash keep down. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but at least you have to try al always. And I think they really need to engage now in the middle because otherwise they'll just lose to coins and you can't really defend this passively. Yeah. And uh, looks like they will actually lose the coins here. Mm. Uh, next barrage is incoming here from Black Blackbeard. So the bottom four is gonna fall, and with that, uh, the last defense for Team Empire. Uh, the Coro will already take some damage, as it looks like, and PvP will just go for the golem now and then um, push with it. That's the safest thing to do, and it's look like, it looks like uh, they like safe. Uh, oh yeah, like definitely. Safe, yeah. They're not taking any risks here. Um, we're going to check out their next game uh, in week 5. <laughs> They're going to play it as, as safely. And with the boss, with the hard camp, it uh, looks like it's finally time for them to push. <laughs> yeah, waiting for this so long now. But Ooh, nice little setup here. Yeah. But Sergeant Hammer, again, completely out of position. Zagara staying way too far back. They really need everyone in this next engagement if they're gonna make it happen. And maybe they try to squeeze them down here in in the main uh, in the main fort. Yeah, going with the boss, it's just gonna be way too hard. They really have to get a good more now, but oh, there we see the bloodlust and immediately going for the core only, even for yeah, the Logan. Focusing everything down and that APS is just way too high. And there's the GG 2-0 uh, for PPP. And again, pretty hard stomp here for them. Only two kills for Empire. Just incredibly strong play. I don't know, Empire just really didn't make it work. Didn't have the, the right composition to uh, to deal with PPP here. Yeah, they. I think they just uh, wanted to try something and it didn't work. 
I don't think they'll be going for like two or three specialist combos in the f near future because it looks like this ju does, just doesn't work out properly. Yeah, um, I have to agree. Um, I mean, one, one specialist is good because you can always keep a lane, single lane, um, maybe go for, for the mob single-handedly. But uh, with three specialists, that's just way too much, and you're gonna just, like your team composition is going to suffer uh, in other places, and we saw it happening here. Um, yeah, I mean they held their ground till about level ten, and then everything just fell apart. Yeah, uh, quite unfortunate for them, but uh, good for PPP. Um, I think they're in a, a fourth place now, uh, as far as the rankings go. You can check those out on uh, Nexus Champ. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll uh, see you guys next Monday for uh, week six of uh, the Heroes Premier League EU tournament. And uh, with that, I have to say goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye-bye.